Oh, it's flowing. That is definitely flowing. So it's 7.50 in the morning and this is the earliest I've woken up in a long time. It's actually a really exciting day. If you don't already know, here in Melbourne where I live, we've been in lockdown for about pretty much since March. It sucked to be honest and like as a content creator, I haven't been able to go out and film vlogs and all that sort of stuff amongst other things. Restrictions have eased in some locations so we're able to get a work permit and go do our job which is this. All right, we've picked up our little photographer worker. Hello. <laughs> you excited, bro? Oh man, I haven't gone on a road trip in ages. It doesn't feel legal to go out on a road trip, which is such a weird feeling, but we're here, we've got the paperwork, so it's all good. It's currently 10 a.m. and if we're already like doing something with our day. It's so good to just get up early, go out and do something. And like, I'm keen to just go out to a nature photo location and just create something. All right, we made it to the farm. We're here, got past the border. I don't really care. Um, oh, it feels so good to get out of the car. Got to put some batteries on charge. Uh, got to charge my little Osmo and then we're good to go to the nature location. You coming to the, the photo location? You're making me. Yeah, so you have to. Otherwise you're going to stay in and watch TikTok all day. We just stopped off for a little bit to get some hectic drone shots of this little like tree plantation area. There's all these cool trees here. Um, but Mike reckons that we can get some cool photos of me driving my car like down through this little road here because we've got like all the trees on one side here and on the other and the road's a little bit wet because it was just raining. I think I can shoot through that yellow sign there as well. So I have that in the foreground. Yeah. Just makes the image pop a bit more. Uh, and yeah. then I'll pretty much stand like those that grass field area there. What do you want me to do? Just drive. Just come around that corner, yeah. Hopefully you got this shot. Oh fuck this. Oh. Did you get it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. It looks sick in between there. On the road again. Before we go to the waterfall, today's video is sponsored by Skylands. You would have seen in one of my previous videos using Lumina 4. Now, by the same company, Skyland, they've got this new software coming out called Lumina AI. The thing is though, this isn't an upgrade from Lumina 4. This is just a completely new software that Skylam is bringing out. Traditionally, editing might take you a lot more time and there's a lot more steps that you have to go through to achieve a certain look. For example, you might import an image and have to go through all the different sliders just to achieve one simple look. But with Lumina AI, it has this AI technology which gets all those steps and just puts it into one slider so you can literally just get that same effect by using a slider. So I'm pretty keen to try it out once it does come out. I've done a bit of nature photography recently and I'm keen to see how this new software reacts when I edit a nature photo in it, whether it brings out all the details and I'm keen to see how much more efficient the AI technologies help my editing process. So if you're a freelance photographer or you have your own photography business and you're thinking about efficient ways to edit your photos, Lumina AI is definitely the way to go because it's just going to help speed up your editing session time. Lumina AI is coming out towards the end of the year. So if you want to pre-order it at an early bird price, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can do that. Thank you to Skyland for sponsoring this video. But now let's get back to the waterfall. Just on the walk down to the waterfall. There's like all this moss on all the trees, which looks really cool. Got Mike getting a shot there. We're holding up a queue of people behind us. Yeah. Look at all those people. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Yep. Oh. 
I can hear it. You can see the water flowing. <laughs> it's near. I've not seen a nature photography location in a while. <laughs> a good and six months. Oh, I'm so excited to see this. Oh, it's flowing. That is definitely flowing. Far out. Oh, far out. A lot more water than last time when we came here. Last time it was like trickling. Yeah. All right, the light has just come out. The sun's just come out and it's creating this hectic like, sort of like hazy with all the water. It's like reflecting off the sun. So I've got the 85 millimeter F1.4 and I reckon I'll just try to shoot through all these bushes here and we'll just try to get some shots of the waterfall. Nothing special. I was going to do some long exposures, but I forgot my tripod, so I can't do that. But this is a sick spot. mud all over my shoes so now it's just gonna be slippery. I'm gonna go under this. Oh. Yeah pretty much here. Oh wow. Oh fuck. Wow. <laughs> Nearly fell over there. Oh that is a sick shot. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Dude what a spot. Yeah. This is what we mean by shoot through. <laughs> Literally. Oh, this is a dope 35 shot as well. Yeah, I can like use all these ferns around here to like compose, like help frame the shot. So I've just shot through that and then it just makes for a more filled up shot instead of just the waterfall. Yeah. Have your yellow jacket? The answer is yes. The question is, can you wear it and stand in front of the waterfall? The answer is yes. This is a waste of time yeah. filming all this. You feel that mist on you yeah, from you, here. You literally like. You're I gonna can, get soaked standing I can here. Feel all the mist just on my face. It feels so nice. <laughs> oh my god! Like, yeah, I reckon I'll get a shot of Mike just standing on that rock there. Yellow, obviously the yellow jacket, you know, you can't go to a photo location like this and not wear a yellow jacket. It's like, it's against the law. This makes me really appreciate living in Melbourne. Like these spots like here. Thank you. Oh no, my whole foot just got in the mud. Oh yes. It's gonna be a sick shot. Nice. I'm just gonna shoot through these and off center Mike. Can you stand a bit this way? Awesome. Yeah. Oh, my lens is getting so wet. Look how wet my lens is. Whoa. I reckon we got enough good shots here. Now, mission, try not to eat shit. <laughs> Fucking bear grills, mate. Oh, Jesus Christ. How it feels to chew five gum. Ah, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> this is what pain looks like. <laughs> We are here, time for automatic ISO because we're about to go into a jungle of trees. It's just not the same without Hayden. Last time we were here with Hayden, he came up with a photography idea where you throw a bucket of water at someone and we both, me and Mike were like, that is the worst idea. And it turned out to be an insane idea and it looked really good. So yeah, Miss Hayden's wacky ideas, but this is a good spot to come check out again. Good to come back here, but in terms of photos, no real new ones because 
you know, when you go to the same spot so many times, it's hard to change it up. We're gonna go check it out anyway. Boy, do you wanna stand just there? Yeah. Some nice light coming through here. Yeah, chuck it on F8, get through the light flares. Even just a shot like this, like a cool wallpaper. That is really cool, all that detail. I don't remember the last time I've been to a proper photography location and actually been really happy with the photos because I just haven't shot in that long. So it was so good to just get out today and just shoot for once. Be outside in nature, breathe in the fresh air. It's really healthy for your body to do that sort of stuff. So I had a lot of fun today. If I was to choose a favorite photo, there's a lot. I actually really enjoyed a lot of the photos I got. I would have to say my favorite is this landscape shot that I got of Mike because I just, I think it's super cinematic. I did this two by one crop on it, which also looks good, which you probably won't be able to tell because this video is two by one cropped. I went for a moody edit on the photo. So I used my Lightroom presets to edit that. So if you want to get them, they're in the description. Let me know what you think of the POV slash vlog style. It's like a new sort of style that Mike and I just figured out where instead of just filming B-roll of us taking photos in our vlogs, we can now add the POV stuff into a normal vlog, which I don't know why we didn't ever think of it before, but yeah, we've, we've thought of it now. So that's what we're going to be doing more. But yeah, that's all for today's video. If you did like it, remember to leave a like. Help me out by hitting subscribe. And as always, don't think, just do. Here you go. Oh, <laughs> you fucking dog! Why would you make me do that? Keep my serving up every single plate. The hottest in the season, even summer looks away. Cause I got something to prove I'm here cause I pay my dues So please tell me something new I'm in the...